both agree that the acceleration, if here's the velocity graph, the acceleration is the slope of the velocity. So we just need to find the slope at 4.7. Now, 4.7 is you know, probably somewhere like right there. But again, it doesn't matter if it's you know, at 4 or if that's at 3.5. They all lie. They're all changing at that constant rate because this, um, this velocity is, is, a, is a line. So the rate of change is going to be exactly the same. So to find the acceleration, all we need to do is find the change in velocity over the change in time between what we're get, anything that we're given, and that's going to be the same as 4.7. So um, let's find the acceleration of, um, or let's, sorry, let's do the average acceleration. And the average acceleration uh, between the points, let's do between 3 and 5, would be v sub 5 minus v sub 3 all over. Let's see, 5 is going to be 4, sorry, which would be 5 minus 3. So v sub 5 is 4. v sub 3 is negative 6 divided by 2. And we've already done this before, right? 10 halves. And again, guys, it's 10 halves, or which is equal to 5 uh, feet per second squared. It doesn't matter where you are along here, right? It's going to be 5 feet per second squared anywhere. Does that make sense? Yes? OK, so we already had the math there. That wasn't as bad. Um,